The Tom Holland. Tom, yeah. You had, you had dinner with Spider Man. It was him and his so, assistant. So many Marvel fans would beat you up. Yeah, right I now. know, dude. Like, imagine that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Another Monday. My name's Anthony. We're welcomed by Brandon Avila, a.k.a. Bavi. Biavi. Biavi. Okay, yeah, it's kind sorry of about that. No, it's all good. Okay, Biavi. Yeah, yeah. He, I kind of messed that up because he just changed his name. But, dude, uh, let's get right to it. Why exactly did you change your name to Biavi, right? Of course. Um, I changed it because I just wanted, like, a new slate. For like the new 2024, like a new name, new, uh, which still not a new name. Technically it's the same thing. Cause people still call me BZ. Uh-huh. So it's BZ Avila. Uh-huh. Instead of real big BZ, it's just, to me, it just fit. It fits more. And I just wanted something new, something new to just start fresh. How, what, how did you come about picking Bobby? Like, uh, like, what, did you, like, look uh, at the dictionary, just come up with a random name, or how exactly did you come up with that name? That's a good question. Um, Nathan, my cousin Nathan, we okay. kind of went over uh, different names, and it kind of just flowed. At first, uh-huh. I wanted to do Avi, uh-huh. A-V-I. Okay. That would be good. Yeah, but it's just that there's a lot of, like, I don't know, just I'm looking it up. A lot of people had it, Avi, uh-huh. Avi. Same thing as Bobby, whatever they ate. But... Bobby, because people call me busy. I would always be busy, busy, and so it kind of you know the B in front of it just you know works works more you know well than just Avi. But yeah, yeah it's just my cousin. We just went over it and bam, just out of nowhere, just came up and he was like, "Biavi sounds dope." I was like, "Ooh, well, I like Biavi because it kind of you know it just flows better." But yeah, how long did you guys take on creating or coming up with that name? Was it like a quick? 20 minute turnaround or was it a couple hours nah dude it was like 15 minutes okay that's like, good yeah cause again we already had the Avi and yeah. he was like you know what I like the it. Avi like and I was like oh right when he said it I was like dude I think that's it and quick it happened very quick but yeah but yeah just a name change something yeah. new something different and something that you know I'm gonna be putting out music this year a lot more and just you know from a fresh start yeah. put it that way yeah. yeah and that's something I didn't touch on for those people who are who are watching us uh, that don't know yeah. you're a artist producer mm. and uh, maybe you can share a little more on what you do on a deeper level but of course uh, what exactly goes on in a day-to-day in your life as bobby bobby so, um on a day-to-day i produce a lot yeah. i record sing uh write it's kind of like you know working on different tracks here and there it's not like a Oh, I have to have a set list. It's just kind of like whatever I'm in the mood for. And again, it depends on if I'm busy or not. But on a day-to-day basis, it's working on music, you know, little things, producing, engineering, um, a little bit of everything. So yeah. it's just something that's very, um, how would you say, it's different every day. Dude, that's good. And we were talking earlier yeah. that um, with music and creating music, there comes like shows and Have you been on a show? And if you have, I mean, I already know the answer to that. (laughs) Uh, You have been on two shows. Yes. But what was your anxiety level um, approaching the shows? Where did you have the shows? Mm. If you can touch on that. Of course. My first show ever was at a, it was at a, how would you say, like a 4th of July event Uh in a big park. It was huge. It was Uh like a, over there in um, Downey. It was a big event. I was able to be one of the, performances and oh man it was an experience i mean i my heart was pounding i remember like i just you know it's just the uh anxiety just starts kicking in it just starts like oh my god okay at first i'm cool i'm like all right i'm gonna handle this start the time starts mm-hmm. clicking like oh i go on in 15 minutes oh 10 5 and my heart starts racing it to me it was a it was a wonderful experience i got to perform in front of a lot of people uh and better yet, I had all my family and friends that were there for support. It was a huge like outcome that like I was happy with. And when I started performing, I just it started like becoming easy, easier. Like okay, still heart pounding, but like I'm I'm there. And I remember my grandma uh, right before I went up, she came and gave me a little water bottle with it's called siete asades, I think. It's for calming the uh-huh. nerves. She gave it to me, dude. Did imagine she give you laxative? Dude, oh man, <laughs> that would be crazy, dude. No, it was uh it was yeah, that 
honestly saved me because uh-huh. my heart was, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. Like, but honestly, she knew too. She came and she surprised me. She's like, don't want me here. This is para ti. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh, I already knew what it was because yeah. I always drink. I have my anxiety is very high. Uh, and when I drank it, dude, it kicked in. And after that, I just started seeing my, you know, friends and family, people started coming in and I was like, oh, like this is, this is actually like comforting. It's not yeah. scary. It was more in my head. I didn't want to mess up. That's, I think that's what kind of like was. How many people were there? Yeah, like, it was uh, probably over two to, I would say like 2,000, 2,500 people. Dude. It was a big part. They had rides and all that. Then everybody had around the stage. Like a carnival. Yeah, but huge. It was huge, dude. Like it was people upon people. Yeah. And everybody just started coming in and it was, it was beautiful. I, I loved it. It was a dope experience for yeah, that one. If you have pictures, you can send it to us and we'll yeah. put it up on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. And have videos and all that. Yeah. It was, it was a, a dope experience. And that was my first show. My second show, I did it in Rialto, if I'm, if I'm okay. mistaken. Yeah. And my brother hosted this event with this other host and kind of had a bunch of artists and performed there. It was an, a dope experience. I had a, it felt, I was way more confident this time. Cause it, it was your just second felt, time. Yeah. My second time. It just, it, just like the podcast thing, dude, my first episode, I was like very tense and now I've got a couple under you my start belt. Getting used to it. You, you start, start getting used to it. Mm-hmm. So it just comes with the uh, experience and you know, being in front of the camera being in front of people. Uh, of and I wasn't used to being in front of people or putting myself out there in the of internet. Course, yeah. So now uh, you had two under your belt and you're like, yeah. And I still want to do more. more. Yeah. And I still want to do more. Uh, I know uh, my cousin, Nathan, we want to like, Set yeah. something up of like doing an event, um, even more. I want to start performing even for my fiance, her as well. She did a lot more performances Raya. than me, Raya, Raya Lena, and she, um, like the ones she's like the shows she's done. I'm like, I want to do stuff like that. Like it's motivating. It's like even seeing Nathan when he did his, I was like, ah, I kind of want to yeah. do it too. So like, I was on the show Alter Ego, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. you were in the. In the audience, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah, I saw a video. I know, that's and... right there. They got they got me and Nathan. Me and Nathan went a lot. My cousin Nathan, we went a lot, dude. Dude, and... how was it? Like, when you're out there uh, supporting your girlfriend, uh, because you guys have similar... Those who don't know, she also... She performs, and she's a great singer mm-hmm. as well. Pop R&B, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so how, how were you, like, watching her? Like, performing. And, yeah, like, performing. What you feel, like... How how was the level it was, of anxiety? It was or? it was a lot. Um, to answer, I didn't see her uh-huh. perform perform in stage. She was behind okay. the stage, so all I heard was her voice. Okay, but it was live. Uh-huh. Everything was live, and um, it was a dope experience. It was a, an experience, kind of like hearing the other artists or other contestants. It was like. Amazing. Uh-huh. I, I couldn't believe it. It was very like, oh, is this really happening? And I would always look at Nathan like, uh, is this like real? It feels, you know, it was just, um, it was awesome. It was a dope experience. And it was uh, very uh, emotional because I was like, this is a dope experience. I can't like, un- I can't like fathom that she's actually on the show or even becoming a semi finalist. Like it was. Yeah. So. Uh, for those who haven't watched the show, like she got eliminated at the semifinals, mm-hmm. but I know you're going to say she should have won the whole thing, I, right? She should have. She should have won everything. <laughs> uh, she should have won. But honestly, what are your like deep thoughts regarding that? Like her yeah, yeah. elimination? Like it how, was... what did you feel? Like, because I watched it mm-hmm. and um, I was like, what the heck? I yeah. thought personally she should have gone to the finals mm-hmm. and I was like, what the heck? Of course, so, no, and no disrespect to the main yeah. person that won. He's amazing, Jake. He's he's gonna an come amazing after singer. You, I know, right? No, he's such an amazing singer. And uh, but when it came when it came down to it, I kind of was like, you know, maybe they have a certain standard of who they were really wanted. Maybe it wasn't so much the people. Maybe it was the people behind this. You know, the producers uh-huh. and all that. I don't. To me, it was just kind of like I don't think the voting and all that was fair. Fair. Okay. That you know, and again, I could be wrong i could uh-huh. be totally wrong but that's what i felt it was kind of like she really has a, an amazing voice like yeah, and it's does, she does and it's and you too no no thank you and and it's something that i'm like there's no way i remember right when we heard her right when they say oh she's being eliminated i was like no you could probably uh, see in the video or whatever i'm like 
Like what? Like it looked like we we're faking it, but it huh. felt like it, it <laughs> so, really felt like it. It was a shock for us. Too. How did you come for her after? Or... It was I. I. I kind of already knew. Oh. I didn't want to, um, like, how would you say, push her more negatively? Like ah, oh, like I kind of told her, hey, let's go eat. Okay. Let's go. What'd you guys eat? Cheesecake Factory. Nice. But it was the worst experience. I've, uh, it was. Uh, Why? They were already closing, uh-huh. and the waiter kind of. Kicked you guys out or what? No, they were just being rude. Okay, yeah, like, they wanted so to go home. Like, yeah, kind of like that, but like, I was being just how I am normal, being like, oh, hey, can I go get a table? Uh-huh. And they were very like, no, like, just the attitude. So just like, even like, we had to deal with that after the whole show. It was just the, yeah. that whole night was a whole, like, I was getting annoyed because I wanted to keep my composure for, you know, my fiance and kind of tell like, you know, you're good. Like, let's just have fun and just distract your mind from, you know, the, Mm-hmm. Whatever just happened, and yeah, but it was hard, dude. So I mean, she's been on a show like, and you just mentioned you would like to do something along those lines too. What exactly would you like to? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of uh, the Voice, American Idol. Mm-hmm. I mean, Alter Ego. Uh, what shows have you been looking at to you know be on if you have so far? I I've always been like I've always wanted to do a show, but I never took the initiative to like push myself okay i'll take it. the initiative for and you. <laughs> no i i uh the voice was always one that i wanted to do yeah but i heard so many stories of like it's very hard and like the judges are very prejudiced and this and that so it's like what stories me, have you heard like just uh, from like they're very like that like they're very prejudiced and like uh-huh. they just you have to look a certain way or just mm-hmm. you know a lot of stuff like that what from other artists that have done it friends okay. that have done it singers and um, to me, I, I don't know. And then especially like, I would always sign up, but I would never go. Okay. Dude, you should, uh, most definitely do it. Cause no, it- I, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Um, I, like I said, 20, this year, 2024, I want to push myself from my comfort zone and yeah. just be. And that's the first step, right? Yeah. And that's definitely the first step. I'll go right? support you, dude. No, I think I know. I'll I know. You're the side. <laughs> I'll be with the <laughs> side right there. Dude. Uh, uh, yeah, dude. I think that's very good. Yeah. Um, uh, but also. What what projects? Because you, you're an artist. What projects are you work, currently working on? I know you mentioned you were kind of working on music that you wanted to release, and you have a lot mm. of goals, and you want to put yourself um, yourself out of a a different comfort zone. Mm. So, what projects do you have um, currently in the in the works? Right now, I have a couple. Right now, I'm working on a I would say an album. Uh, okay, still up in the air with the title, but okay. I do have a I, I do have a lot of music because it's been. The last time I released was 2019. So, and why is that? I just felt like I, I would, uh, how would you say? I don't know. When it comes to an artist, we keep a lot of our stuff and not want to like. We don't have the urge to like put it out. And why do you think uh, that happens with artists? Like, you just keep it's you just, hold on to it. It's just very. Um, I think from my point of view, it's kind of like I want to hold it to where whenever I have an opportunity, I could put all that music out that's how i see it so it's, it's more of an opportunity yeah, like, like timing the market yeah when yeah. again but then again you have other artists like for instance russ uh-huh. he just tells you post everything post yeah. everything you do and then to me it's kind of like you're kind of right like yeah. who cares what people are going to say if you don't release or just put stuff out one of those songs might land something dude yeah but like to it. me it's just back then it was kind of like uh, well, I'll just keep it. Let me keep it. I'll make something, finish it. Uh, so how many songs do you have right now currently, like that are unreleased, but they're ready to go? All you need to do is submit it to Spotify, Apple Music, have, or YouTube Music. I have a, a good amount. I would say I have around like 25, 30 Jeez, songs. You like, have, like, you have two albums right there. Yeah, literally. And, and, that, and that's like, and that's obviously. Some some of them I have to redo. Some I have to like uh-huh. maybe remix. You know, it's just a just little things, little things that I think mm. need to be done. So, Brandon, yeah. do you only do um, R and B music, or do you have any other specific genre that um, you focus on? I do uh, so reggaeton, R and B, trap. I also do house music as well. Oh. I'm starting to get into that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing a little bit of everything for sure. But That's house good. music for sure is like my next. Dude, like, I want to hear it. The, no, uh, I could, I could definitely, music. I could definitely uh, play a little sample yeah, for you guys. Let's play it. Yeah, 
<laughs> We're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is all my stuff. This is all like, uh, so you wouldn't get copyrighted. Uh, This is, that's a good song. Thank like, you, thank uh, you. you. So you made it. Yeah, all from scratch, dude. But yeah, I mean, you dude, pulled, that, you pulled it out uh, really quick. Like, you're ready with it. I know, dude. I was like, <laughs> you're ready, 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 ready. ready. <laughs> 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 I had it, dude. I have it ready. But no, I do, uh, I do a bunch of different stuff. House music, everything. Yeah. A little bit of everything. All right. The next thing you never, I mean, I might do is country. Have you ever thought of uh, making like a baby, baby, uh, baby song, like for those kids shows? <laughs> I we actually thought about it. I was telling uh, my I was telling my fiance like we should actually do placements for like little kids shows. You never know, <laughs> and those on YouTube when you look at them, they have millions of views. Like Dude. it's it's wild. And I'm like just being replayed all the time by the kids. The or like the hours, you know, for when you put a kid to sleep. <laughs> what do they use? Uh, YouTube. Uh, 10 hour long uh, videos. And so it's going to be you, dude. I'm going to try. I'm going to look into that. Actually. Would you even be, con- would you consider that? Yeah. No, honestly, and it's very easy. to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I think it's a, it's definitely something that we can do. It's easy. Honestly, it's easy just knowing the dude, right. Because I feel a lot right of people things. are probably embarrassed that the whole baby stuff. That or it makes kid, money. Or not it even baby, but like toddler, right? Yeah. But, and it makes money. It Something like that, honestly, is a big, uh, how would you say a big thing like people do? Like it's a big, uh, oh my God, what's the word? Um, industry. Industry for yeah. it. It is. It's a big, thank you. Dude, yeah. That's my cousin, Kelsey. Yeah, we got thank the you. producer. Yeah, the producer over there. The, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, honestly, I think kids like that kind of, that's a big placement. That's a big, uh, placements are basically, you know, whenever you make something, you send it to them and they place it. And it's, mm-hmm. it's a big, yeah, that's a whole, that's a good idea. I never Good. thought about that. Yeah, but I'm I want, really into it. I want point two, point two percent of royalties on Coco Melon. <laughs> dude, yeah, uh, <laughs> dude. Uh, I don't know. Maybe la- like later on in the podcast, maybe you can give us a little snippet of your amazing singing. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I want to say like I remember you mentioned to me, and uh, Kelsey's also told me that you worked with a uh, uh, big artist. Um, I think she said Lil Rob, mm-hmm. uh, Zendaya. Mm-hmm. And I'm probably missing a couple others. How did that come about? And how was it working with them? It was cool. Little Rob was an amazing. Yeah, for those who don't know, he sings uh, Summer Nights. It's a, yeah, a pretty popular. Iconic L.A. song. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Little Rob, um, he is an amazing rapper. Mm-hmm. I mean, growing up to hearing him, I'm, I'm like, I never had the idea that I was ever work with him. And it's not released. I'm going to see with him and see when we can release our song. But um, he, when I recorded him, I was like, dude, like this guy is it. Like he's exactly like him. Like it's him. And when he recorded, he just was amazing. Mm-hmm. How did and, you guys meet though? Uh, so it was, it wasn't me necessarily. It was Mariah. Uh-huh. Uh, so Little Rob's wife messaged uh mariah when Mar- mariah posted a russ uh cover uh-huh and she liked mariah a lot and like hey you gotta work let's do a song with little rob and she they initially worked first they worked on a song together uh actually gonna be putting that out uh, hopefully soon and they yeah. kind of you know we did the song i did the beat for them and then i kind of w- was like hey can we do a song together and he you know he was cool he was yeah, cool about it he was cool he was super cool and Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we'll, we'll release that. But that's yeah. he was dope, a dope, an amazing artist. Um, and this guy has a lot of stories. Really, yeah. what, what was the story that he gave you that was like empowering or like uh, a bunch, like motivation? just, just like uh, you know, just keep at it, like just keep doing it and mm-hmm. don't give up and like just push yourself because he really sees the talents that me and Mariah had of you know being artists, you know, day to day artists because. A lot of times you have these artists that are just one one time wonder, you know, one hit wonders, and mm-hmm. like for us, he really sees the potential in us of like, damn, yeah. you guys are really talented. Like, yeah, dude. I mean, we do too, all of us. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank and you. And you gotta be able to just 
like you said, you haven't been consistent as of late, but you're going to start being consistent for yeah. 2024. Mm -hmm. And it all just starts with getting the ball rolling, get the mm -hmm. album out and start releasing, being active on social Very media. True, yep. So dude, like I'm excited about that. Yeah. But other than that, like when do you think, uh, I mean, you're going to talk to a little Rob first and mm -hmm. then, uh, release the song, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll be yeah, on the got, lookout. I mean, it's already done. It's just, no, I just got to see when he, he'll he's be cool. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's all, it's all, you know, and how, all, do you, how do you guys communicate? Like, is it through like just DM or do you have number. his personal cell? I have his personal number. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, do, yeah, I have his personal cell number. Is he invited uh, to your wedding? I know, right? He is. No, he is? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to tell him. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's if he wants to, yeah. he might come through, but uh, yeah, I mean, he, uh, guys contact, like I said, it felt, it feels surreal that I even have uh -huh. a connection with him, even Mariah, like, yeah, dude. cause when I told her, she was like, who is he? And I was like, you don't know little Rob? Like, this is the beginning. Like, yeah. And I was like, he's an LA icon. Like, yeah, this dude. is something huge. And, you know, uh, he does follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He does, uh, like I said, he's, his music right now is dope. He's putting out a lot of stuff too. So I'm like, all right, let me get on the, let me get, you know, get mm -hmm. rolling too, get the dice rolling. And, uh, but yeah, that's a, a dope contact. And like I said, he, he the he's a dope and amazing artist. For dude, sure. That's cool, dude. And what about Zendaya? Like, uh, what work did you do with her? And um, were you nervous? Did you meet her in person or is it yeah. like just online? No, in person. Uh, it, I went to school with her cousin. Uh, Whoa. And. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Here goes no, me. like I was going to say like <laughs> what? I was going to say what cousin, but. It's uh, her first cousin, I guess. Okay. I forget. It's just, it's been a minute, but uh -huh. he kind of, I was in the engineering program, uh, MI, and uh, did it, and he kind of saw my potential, too, and he's like, you know what, let's work. So, started uh, doing music for her videos, that, her clothing line that she was doing at that time. She doesn't have it anymore, but uh, we started doing videos, and my best friend, uh, Yakshini Yoshi, was doing the videos. Yeah. So, I got him to do the videos, and then we were, me and her cousin were doing beats for the uh, for the clothing trailer thing. commercial type of stuff. And, but yeah, I worked with her. Uh, when I first met her, he brought me over to her house and I wasn't like a, I mean, I'm not saying I'm like a huge fan, but I just was, I was like, whatever about it. Was she welcoming? Oh, she's very welcome. When yeah. I walked in the, you know, the big door, she was literally all the way down in the, uh, couch had a get her nails done by, a <laughs> uh, you know, what do you call did it? She, a, did she tell you guys, boys? Join the uh <laughs> No, she uh she right away was like, Oh hey Brandon and right away uh -huh. I was like She knows my name. Really? Like, yeah, because sure her mean. cousin talked to her, you know, and uh -huh. I was like Oh man, I I I fangled right there. I was like, yeah. Oh my gosh, she knows me and she was a, a most humble and amazing That's cool. person. That's cool. She's very she's very dope. I, I and I'm grateful for her family too for you know letting us like be with them, you know, celebrate with them and all that. Mm -hmm. I went to her birthday party. Uh, really? First, yeah, the first year I went, it was, was dope. It? it was dope. I actually have videos. I'll, I'll post videos and yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll send I you guys videos. It. It was, was there dope. a lot of people? A lot. She has a huge family and they're all welcoming. Yeah, like I was literally passed by somebody like, ah, "How you doing? Like, you need anything?" I'm like, "Oh no, thank you." I'm like, I, they're very welcoming. I love her family and it was dope. It was a dope experience with the. I mean, Tom Holland was in the Spider Man guy. He wasn't in. in well, we, he, they weren't together, right? At not that time. at that time, but they would hang out a lot. Okay. This is when Tom Holland was like the first Spider Man. Okay. So that kind of makes sense. Like, if you're mentioning that she was so welcoming, like, I think they've lasted more than like the average, uh, oh, yeah. like, mm -hmm. superstar, like, artist last in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. So it makes sense if you're saying that. Her family and she's been no, very, very welcoming. welcoming. Yeah, no, very. So. And her dad too. Her dad like was super dope. And I remember we went to a photo shoot. Yeah. And it was like a at, in the Hollywood Hills. I remember I went with the Yoshi and went to her cousin and we went up there and I remember seeing Tom, but I didn't know who he was. Hmm. And he goes up to me, hey, hey, my name's Tom. Really? And I'm like, oh, hey, my name's Brandon. I'm, you know, here for the Tom Holland. Tom, yeah, exactly him. And I was like, wow. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. Like, no. I, was, like I shook his hand. So I, I it's because you knew the other Spider Man. Why? Well, yeah, that's why. This is Damn. before Spider Man One even came yeah. out. And I remember looking at him, and I was just like, he's standing right next to me, and we we're just talking. I did not even know he was an actor or whatever, like uh -huh. at all. So then that same night, Zendaya, we went to eat at a restaurant, and did I remember pick up the bill. When her when her assistant there? did. Oh, it was dope. It was a dope experience, and. This is like another day. This is like after working with her for a little bit. And I remember like me and my uh, videographer friend, like my best friend, Yoshi, we were just eating and just like, they're all talking and we're just right there. Like, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, just, you know, we're not saying anything because nobody's talking to us. And I remember Tom was there and I was like, who is this kid? I don't know who this kid is. And sure enough, literally like a couple months later, the Spider-Man comes out and he was, I mean, no. uh, and I was like, Di- you had you had a dinner with Spider Man. Oh, no, it was him, and her so- assistant, my her cousin, me, and and I was like, "Whoa, what a trip!" So many Marvel fans would beat you up. I right know, now. dude. I did not huh? even know. It's like imagine that, and I was told not to talk a lot. Back you, then. you were told you had a sign. Yeah, like so it. only like when they talk to us, it feels somebody. So that, like, even though we didn't know, like we just stayed very quiet. But yeah. this, you know, getting older and realizing like not to keep my mouth shut every time, like. If I have an opportunity, I'm going to take it. Yeah. You know, like I talked to you last time, like if I see an opportunity with an artist that I see Drake or Chris Brown, I'm going to take the opportunity. To... Who's your dream, uh, like person you want to work with? Like now you're mentioning, you're mentioning a lot mm-hmm. of artists. Um, who's your like dream person you want to feature with or um, hop on on a collab? Chris Breezy. Chris Brown. Chris Brown? And why is that? Uh, I felt like I, his music was a big part of my, uh, Growing up, my own music, like oh. growing up, yeah, like you know, starting out, I kind of was a, I'm a big fan for him, and he's a good dancer. He's a very good dancer. I want to uh, see you and his <laughs> dance. <laughs> I did dance uh, back then when I was small. Yeah. I was a uh, in monastery. I have, I have to find some videos, but I did, I did a lot of dancing. Yeah, we'll more than singing. Up. Yeah, and more than singing, and I was a dancer as well, but nothing like like him. Just a kid. I was just a kid dancing, but uh, yeah, he's an amazing dancer. I, but his music. The way he sang, the melodies, and like everything in general, just kind of it sunk in with me. Like it just fit perfectly with me because people would always say, "Like, oh, your music sounds sounds kind of like Chris Brown or the the Weekend." I always got told I sounded like the like Weekend. The weekend? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so Chris Brown's like your main guy right now that you want to, um, you will collab one day. Yeah, Let's put no, it that I way. will. I you will have to, right? Yeah. So, dude, like I didn't even mention like uh, we're like already far in advance in the conversation, but what got you into? starting music my brother okay yeah he, uh, he started off well initially it was my cousin that i'm uh got my brother into it or and then kind of my brother took the the you know the rope with it started making music beats he was a big time producer he still produces um and who's, but, what's his name like uh exile okay exile 87 uh okay but he he, he started it for me he um not only you know in school when i started singing choir and all that that was a big you know push but you know, him producing kind of like got me into it. You know, if it wasn't for him, my own music, I probably wouldn't have, I put it probably wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for him. Like, you know, he's the biggest like influence when it came to like produ- production and all that. He did everything. I mean, trap, R&B, like it, it was a mix of everything. So I, I'm grateful for that because when I grew up, it was a bunch of different music. I mean, I grew up with rock R and B, pop. I mean everything. You name it. Country too. I grew up with that. But yeah, I mean, I'm my music is very versatile. So I, yeah, when it comes down to it, he, you know, always showed me different music and like produ- producing wise, it kind of like sparked my intuition. Like, okay, let me this actually let me do it. And but yeah, my brother, my brother's my biggest. Uh, that's what kickstarted me. I, w- so, I would say that's good, dude. Uh, so you mentioned that you started like um, with choir. Mm. And Kelsey mentioned to me that you had to pick between choir and football. How was that? Like, but this is back in high school, right? Mm-hmm. So, how was the the process, and why exactly did you end up picking choir? Because I don't know. There's a lot of people in high yeah. school that probably be like, "I want to be on the football team. Yeah. I want to." So yeah, no, what? it was. Uh, I mean, majority was my like junior, junior, senior year when because uh, it it was chill, you know, doing football, but then. You know, when it got to the games at the end, like yeah. the end of the season, that's when choir had a lot of like concerts and all that. So okay. I had to decide what to do. Do I do the concerts? Because then my teacher, would, my choir teacher, would, Miss Lee, would always tell me, do you have to come to these practices? And I'm like, okay. So then I told my coach and my coach would be like, no, no, you got to, you got to, you know, you can't be leaving. So I decided to go with choir because it just... It felt more comfortable for me. Yeah. Like, like I saw, I kind of saw a potential future in choir than I did in football. Uh So, but no, I mean, choir was, hated it. I hated it. You hated choir. Yeah. Even though it like was. If uh, it wasn't for choir, I would not be where I'm at as well here. Like, 
like what my the how would you I'm see at? your life um if you went the football route because you would have not even um probably been doing music right now at all no i would have been yeah i would have been playing football and i was a nose guard i it was you'd be in the nfl yeah imagine huh? dude, that'd be crazy yeah but then again the scary part is dealing with concussions dealing with you know broken feet or hands whatever it is like yeah. it's scary football is a scary sport and uh but no, I mean, when it comes to that, I, I think choir, you know, stuck with me. Like, again, I say I hated it, but, you know, in reality, I, I loved it. Like, it was a hate or love, you know, relationship because the, the choir teacher would always get mad at me because I was always like the clown. Like, I always liked to, like, just, you know, not pay attention, but, like, I really did. Like, but, you know, when it came down to it, a choir, I thank my choir teacher, Miss Lee. She pushed me a lot. We'll have her on the pod next time. I know, right? Imagine, Imagine her no, she pod. was an amazing opera singer. Oh, she was like a pro opera singer. She was the smallest like lady there, like short, like mm-hmm. petite, like very small. And when she sang, her voice wouldn't even open that much. It would project, dude. Opera. I'm talking about opera. Nothing of like singing pop or anything. Like it was just straight opera. Like. Mm-hmm. And I remember that, and it, it it sticks to me every day. Like you know, looking back at, it, I'm like, if it wasn't for her, I would not be where I'm at. Like you know, vocally, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And it's crazy. It's a crazy, but no, I mean, choir. I loved it. I loved it and hated it. You used to sing in the hallways. Never. Yeah, I started really? off singing in the hallways um, at school. Well, in front of people. That's how I, I didn't. Dude, you don't get like like anxiety or nervous from like singing in front of people or you don't internally think dude what's this person gonna think or no i I feel like i suffered through that or i (laughs) suffered through that like in high school and early college no it was more i mean nervous yes i'm not denying that yeah nervousness for sure but it's kind of like it was comfortable because some of the people that i was with i was just comfortable in front of them where'd you get the confidence to do that i don't know you're full of it no, I, I don't know. I started growing up and just like a, telling myself, like, just do it, just do it. But in high school, I wish I did it more. Yeah. It wasn't a lot. I barely sang in front of people and people would always say, did you hear, you know, Brandon sings, you know, Brandon sings. And Would they laugh at you? No. No? Never. Really? The football guys, when I was singing in the lockers, they would laugh, but laugh like, dude, this this guy can sing. Like, <laughs> what? Like, and they couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. And I remember that's when Baby, uh, Justin Bieber came out. Oh. So I would always sing that. Like, yeah. baby, 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 oh. oh. And I remember every time I would pass in the hallways in front of friends, especially like, I'm telling you, a handful of like girls, because they were huge on Justin Bieber. Uh-huh. They're like, can you sing Baby for me? Can you sing Baby for me? And I'm just like, I at that think... time, I didn't want to, because I felt like I was going to be laughed at. Yeah. I think, you know, in high school, that's what triggered a lot of me not, <laughs> Wait, were those uh, girls doing it with those intentions to laugh at you, or they? No, no, no. That was me. The... That was me. Oh, just I okay. was thinking, but, but in reality, they were like they just wanted to hear. They me wanted sing. to hear baby because like that would be the closest to get to like yeah, a that, Justin Bieber. But it wasn't la- in my head. That's what I thought because I was big. I was you know I was never skinny or anything like that. So mm-hmm. it kind of always stuck to me like they're probably gonna laugh at me. That's why I'm not gonna sing or like uh-huh. you know. But I wish I did. Because uh-huh. it would have been so different, so much yeah. more. There was people, there was people that were scared of me just because I was big. Really? Yeah. And what? Uh, like, did they tell you that? Or I heard because there were friends that I was cool with, mm-hmm. and they would always tell me like, "Oh, they're, they're scared of you." Like the people that I was cool with, they in would this, say the other people were scared of me in high school. Yeah, it was like that in the beginning of ninth grade. Well, what you feel like in that moment, like or when like, you heard that? I felt kind of. Like, I was hurt. I was yeah. kind of like, I'm, I'm like a teddy bear. I'll literally say that I'm like I'm a teddy bear. I'm not even a. You're like, get over here, let me help you. I have you. no ill intentions, yeah. And, yeah. and I, I dealt with that a lot, but uh-huh. it's just a, a growing experience. Like I said, if I had the mindset going back to high school right now that I have now, best believe I'll sing in front of everybody or whatever, <laughs> you know, just take the initiative to like perform in the, uh, what do you call those? Uh, rallies or whatever, the... the Like where, you know, the auditorium. The auditorium, where, yeah. Yeah, so stuff well, like yeah, that, but rallies, I did. The rallies, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. I, I know there's another word for it, but... Uh-huh. Uh, I did that, but pep rally. Was, pep rally. Yeah, mm-hmm. there you go. Uh huh. But yeah, I mean, in high school, it was, a, it was a an experience that like I wish I did more. Yeah, and dude, like you never you mentioned like the you being made fun of. Mm. Did do you think that's affecting you now compared to high school? Because 
Cali mm-hmm. High School was over a decade ago, right? Oh, Does yeah. it still affect you in today's like world? No, nah, I I've been I'm at a point where I'm comfortable with you know if I have haters, if I have people that down talk on me. I mean, you know you're doing something right, especially in music. You know you're doing something right when somebody's like hating on your music. Yeah. I tell that to everybody. You know you're doing something when somebody's hating on you. But, you know, answering to your question, I never, I don't, like, take it to heart. Yeah. You know, like, if somebody talks bad about me or trash about, like, oh, that's how you feel? Okay. You know, like, talk to me calmly. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not looking for drama. I'm not looking, you know, to have those words or whatever, like, stab me. And, nah, yeah. I'll take it. Take it out. Just put a Band-Aid on it. You know, yeah. like, I'm, that's how I see it today. Yeah. And what uh, song are you most proud of right now that you have out or like collabed with mm. with someone or your current song? Like, What's the song that you're the most proud of? The song that I'm most proud of, I would say, uh, it's not out yet. Oh, it's not? Uh, yeah. So, can you give us a sneak peek? Yeah. On the I, mic? It's, it's actually with my fiance. Oh, okay. What's it called? Or is that? It, no, that's fine. It's called uh, It Was Magic. It Was Magic. Okay. That's the one that I'm most proud of. And I actually have two. But so, I mean, they're kind of equal. The other one's called Honest. Okay. But those two are like my, the most proud of. Yeah, dude. Uh, and I think I mentioned this to you guys. And it's a uh, the song that you two have together. It's called mm-hmm. Dimelo. Mm-hmm. Dude, I had that song on repeat all <laughs> week. All week. I know. Alex produced it. Uh, our friend Alex, Alex James. He's a dope and amazing artist as well. He produced it and we kind of... Wrote to it. Uh-huh. It was uh, it quick. Yeah, you know, he produced it, and he. I remember that night, quick. And we wrote it, wrote the hook, and I think we wrote. It took like a day to write the verse or whatever, or I don't know if we did the verse there. I forgot, but it was quick. Yeah, that, I love that song. Yeah, that song is very dope. Yeah, I love it. And I remember doing the video. Had Yo- uh, Yoshi film it, and it was uh, like we just wanted to do a video for it. We're like, let's do a video, anything, like yeah. just, just shoot something and. Yeah. Get a visual out, and yeah, that was that was a dope uh, song. And yeah, that's good, dude. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the pod, but first, I want to like say where or you can probably tell people where they can find you on Spotify, Apple Music, mm-hmm. um, YouTube, like um, maybe mm-hmm. look at yeah, that. yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll make them sing. Well, for, yeah, let's make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, first, uh, I go by uh, Biavi. But I, my Instagram is official Biavi, so B A V I I. I have it on there. Um, but on Spotify, Apple Music, I'm gonna be going under uh, Biavi, so B A V I. All right, then we had the producer here say that she's requesting a song. <laughs> we had the producer. So, uh, producer, what song do you request? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just sing. I don't know. Will it get copyrighted? It's a slow down. Which one? Uh, I just want to get to... Oh, okay. Yeah. Slow down. I just want to get to know you. But don't turn around. Because that pretty round thing looks good to me. Woo! So, yeah. Just, uh, uh, but, that just makes me want to... But, uh, no, thank you for having me here. I, it's an, uh, I, I love, you know... This it's dope. Uh, yeah, dude, but thank you for having me. Dude, thanks for coming on. I really appreciate you taking the time and day. Thank and you. Until the next time. Peace. Peace.